Hey guys, so uh, today we're going to be doing the spark plugs on a 2010 Honda Civic that you see behind me. It's a pretty simple job with some basic tools, so I'm going to show you step by step how to go ahead and swap these out. Uh, some of the tools we're going to be needing for this job will be, of course, a spark plug socket and an extension. We're going to need a 13 millimeter, is this right? Nope, sorry, 10 millimeter, a 10 millimeter uh, socket for the uh, coil packs, a magnet of some sort okay a rubber hose i'll show you what that's for later and a 3 8 ratchet make sure that the engine is cold you don't want to do this while the engine is hot and uh what we're going to do is we're going to start by disconnecting the coil packs right here you got four of them so all you do is you press down on the tab and pull back there you go disconnect same thing for all four Once all these four are disconnected, we're going to go ahead and remove these 10 millimeter nuts. These 10 millimeter nuts are just hand tight, so when we put them back, we don't want to really, you know, go too strong on them. Now, as you pull them out, just kind of put your hand underneath because you can easily drop them. Make sure. That you have maybe a magnetic tray or somewhere to keep them close by. For those of you wondering, today I am using the Ulsa Tools swivel head ratchet. Um, this works great because you can pretty much fit it anywhere under the hood and the swivel action allows you to work in any direction at any angle so you're not hitting anything no obstructions and here's the last one and there you go see this is why i tell you guys be very careful when uh, handling these because they can easily fall lucky for me i can see where it landed and I have my trusty magnetic tool here, which I'm going to reach down and grab that nut. There we go. And this is why, guys, it's great to have one of these magnetic tools around. You never know when you're going to need it. But we're also going to be using this for something else later, which I'll show you. Now that all the coil packs are loose, all we have to do is kind of pull them up and remove them. Gonna rest them up here. Now if they don't come up easily, you know you might have to use a little force. In my case, they're coming up pretty easily because I removed these not too long ago. Uh, one of the things you want to do when you remove these coil packs is uh, check this little rubber boot here, make sure it's not torn. So now that the um, coil packs are out. All that's left to do is remove the spark plugs. So for that, we're going to need a spark plug socket and an extension or maybe two extensions. Let's see. Get this in there. And actually one extension is enough. Let's go ahead and loosen these guys up. There we go. And you just keep turning until you feel that it's loose. Now you notice the spark plug doesn't come up with the socket. Some of these sockets come with a little rubber boot in there that actually grabs the spark plug and pulls it out. But in my case, I don't have that. So that's where the magnet comes in. What we do is we take our magnet. We reach in there. And grab the head of the spark plug. And there you go. Now we got the spark plug out. We're going to do the same for the other three.
Okay, now we have all four spark plugs out. Well, all four loose. One is out. We're just going to reach out and grab the others. There you go. And with that, we have all the spark plugs out. It was that easy. I'll show you how to put the new plugs in. So here we have the four new spark plugs, which we're going to be installing. Um, these spark plugs are iridium spark plugs. It's what this car uses. And they come pre-gapped. So you don't have to gap them. They're pre-gapped. I've already double-checked these, and they're all perfect. So they're ready to go in. Now, before we put these in, we're going to put a little anti-seize lubricant on the threading to make it easier to pull them back off if we ever have to take them off again or when it's time to service them once again. So for today, I will be using the Permatex Antiseize Lubricant. So we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of that, that Antiseize here on the threading. Not a whole lot. You don't want to get it on the tip of the spark plug. Just a little bit. That's all it takes. Don't need a whole lot. Now, remember that rubber hose that I showed you guys earlier? Well, here it is. And this is where the rubber hose comes into play. You attach the rubber hose to the tip of the spark plug. And that holds it in place. Now you can gently drop the spark plug in and start turning it with this because you don't want to drop it in there. So start turning it with this hose. And once you know that it's, it catches, you can pull the hose back and the spark plug stays in there. So we're going to do that with the other three. Now you want to make sure you tread these in by hand because you don't want to cross thread that. Remember, that's an aluminum head, so you have to make sure that you don't cross thread. So you turn them in by hand first. And once you know they're going in properly, then you can go ahead and add the wrench. There we go. All four plugs are in. Now it's time to snug them up. And then we're going to torque them to factory specs. So right now, all we're doing is we're getting them down until they start to tighten up and we'll stop. Okay, now that they're all just hand tight all the way down, what we're going to do is we're going to torque them. And the factory specs on this car calls for 13 foot pounds, so you're going to need a torque wrench. Now, it's not absolutely necessary. You can just go ahead and turn them by hand, maybe a quarter turn. That should be enough. But I'm going to show you how it's done with a torque wrench. Okay, guys, so here I have the Quinn digital torque wrench from Harbor Freight. Um, and I have it set at 13 foot pounds as you can see there. So we're going to go ahead and torque these guys up until we hit that 13 foot pound.
that's it. And all four plugs are now torqued to 13 foot pounds. Now, when we get ready to put the coil packs in, uh, it's nice to put a little dielectric grease on the tips here. It helps keep moisture out. In this case, they already have some because, like I said, I removed these not too long ago. Just slide them right back in, push them as far as they will go. Same thing here. Remember to always check the boots that they're in good shape and not cracked because that could cause a misfire. Here we go again. It's got dielectric grease in there. Slide it in. And the last one. Again, the boot is in great shape. Slide that in until they stop. Okay, so now it's time to put the nuts back on, 10 millimeter nuts. And these, there's really no torque spec on these nuts. You just tighten them up till they're snug. Don't go crazy. Don't overdo it. I said you don't have to go crazy once it stops a little maybe a quarter turn and that's about it not even a quarter turn there we go check them all like i said you don't want to overdo it but you don't want to keep them too loose either and after that's in now you just simply plug in the connectors until you hear the click and that's it. You're all done. Spark plug swapped and everything is put back together. That's how simple the job is. I'll leave a link in the description below of the tools that I used. If you're interested in the ULSA tool, the ULSA ratchet, I'll share that link below. And uh, also I'll leave a link for the spark plugs that I used on this particular installation today. If you found this video helpful, please make sure you smash that subscribe button down there. Uh, it would help my channel a lot if you guys subscribe, like, and leave some comments. I can bring you guys more DIYs. Thanks again, guys. I appreciate your help. I encourage your feedback. I answer everyone. Look forward to hearing from you guys again. Look forward to seeing you on my next video.